This is Uncle Dan the Vinyl Man. It's Saturday, so it's time for me to review some of my favorite vinyl purchases for the week. Before I get to re my reviews, I need to thank this week's sponsor, Billy Bob's Bodacious Bargain Barn, home of stuff that fell off a truck honest to God officer. I'd like to begin this this week with this here disc by Andre Costalots and Costa on Andrew whatever <clears throat> it's called lure of paradise <clears throat> yeah uh, I think you oh yeah I think you get the idea there about the lure of paradise anyway <clears throat> you know this is a good one because this here back cover has got footnotes and them liner notes have footnotes ain't every day a feller sees that ain't every day a feller sees what's on the front cover neither at least I don't. Now, maybe it's because I live in Minnesota where it's a bit cold for folks to dress like this. Anyway, this here cover, it quotes, it quotes Herman Melville. That's high class. And that cover photo, that's high class too. Let me check out of the lingerie pages in the Sears catalog. Oh, yeah, that's my first one. I don't know what it sounds like. I just look at it, you know. Anyway, my next one up. See, I figure a feller can't have too many LPs by Mr. Costalots and Costanza in his uh, <clears throat> collection. So this one is Andre Costalots. Everything is beautiful. Ain't she beautiful? Yeah. Yes, she is. So is my dog. Up there's Pancake. He's a good dog. That's a Claire in the background there. She's asleep. She's a better dog because she's asleep. Anyway, I like this one. Because it's got the most soothing version of the theme for MASH on it. Y'all know that theme for MASH is called Suicide is Painless. This version of it is, is beyond painless. It's, it's just, it's like nothing, you know. Kind of, when you think about the song, kind of makes sense of it. You want a soothing version of Suicide. I think like a nice version of Suicide Ideation. Oops, I need to read some of the liner notes to you on this one. Let's read these. The maestro was no meanderer in avant garden of evil noise and zigzag escape. Neither is he a sightseer on a short holiday in a different world, adorned in a weird beard, tape recording the labyrinths of funhouse and frenzy of radical new things. He is a realist, reflective, creative, traditional, non traditional. He is a musician, skilled, crafted, Lucid. I hope you ain't no meanderer in no avant gardens of evil noise. But that bit about the weird beard, that kind of hurts an old boy's feelings. I feel like maybe they was talking about me. Anyway. That one's a good one put on. It'll, it'll, especially if you have been losing sleep, you know. Next one up. We have Irving Fields and his trio at the Emerald Room. This is in, this is a high fidelity record, a property ready production. We use RIAA or similar record compensator second setting. If you ain't got no record compensation or sound right, you gotta compensate it right. Lots of people compensate for lots of things these days. Anyway, this is, this is a brand new monaural. That's better than stereo, I think. Uh, anyway, it's got the motto. Now this one, this is one for those of you who really want to swing, but you can't swing because if you do, you're likely to break a hit. You know, that was heck last time that happened. Anyway, one really good thing about this LP is if your turntable is like my old Gerard Synchro Lab 75, it keeps repeating whatever side has been played. You put it on and play that side and drop it and it plays it again, you see? That can get pretty annoying and you think, I'd like to hear the other side of that LP, right? I ain't going to do that unless you get up and, you know, mess around with it. But I keep playing the one side over and over. But it, but that works well with Mr. Fields and his trio. That's because both sides sound the same. Might as well listen to one side as the other. Yeah. Yeah. Next up is this fine one. Dance Till Tomorrow. Swing and Sway with Danny Kay. Now I like this cover photo. Kind of makes those people look like they's toys, you know. 
And I like the back cover. You look at look at Mr. Mr. K on there. Well, let's see if we can get him a little better better there in focus. He looks like he was uh, he was born 95 years old. Oh, that's good. Anyway, this one it's got a song on it called "You'd Be Surprised." It was written by Mr. Irving Berlin. Uh, apparently, this song is about a fella who's a wallflower until you get him off alone with a woman. And then he seems to take an approach to court and resembles that of the late Mr. Ted Bundy. Don't know if we can recommend that, but it is a swinging and swaying album if you're, you know, somewhere north of 80, I'd say. Now, last up is, is this one I picked up. Four Quartets by T.S. Eliot. Now, y'all know old Dan. I hate to complain about things. Let's just let be, you know, you know, people, people is people and, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. But now this time it's a little different. See, I put this on. I put on this four quartets. I listened to both sides. And I planned it on my Synchro Lab 75, with my fine Empire cartridge on there. And, and, you know, I listened to it over and over and listened to it over and over. And, and I'm pretty sure there ain't no quartets at all on here. Ain't no music either. It's just nothing but this old boy T.S. Eliot going solo. And he, his singing voice, it sounds like he's just talking. Just kind of reading. Just kind of like, you know, he ain't got no emotion at all whatsoever. In there. So that's kind of a disappointment. So I think there's some false advertising there. I reckon I'll ride and ask him what the heck he was thinking. Now, if any of my regular boy viewers know where I can get in touch with that Elliot boy, y'all let me know here. So that's all for this episode. Y'all keep checking back, and remember to hit like and subscribe. Also, you know, send me your email address. Include with your email address your full name and street address. Include your maiden, mother's maiden name, your social security number, the street you grew up on, and your various bank account numbers. And don't forget to visit Billy Bob's Bodacious Bargain Barn. Remember, if you can't find it at Billy Bob's Bodacious Bargain Barn, that likely means they just ain't got it in stock. Why don't you go look elsewhere for it? Au revoir, and also, I'll be in touch.